Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Tidic Alex. Remember when I recorded a video last night that re released this morning saying that there wasn't going to be a Marvel Future Fight update in December for Spider-Man No Way Home and that I wanted the update and then we did the silly Eternals quiz together? Yeah, okay, so this time for me to cry now. So let's read what they said here. December update, preparation event, of course. At two o'clock in the morning when I'm sound asleep after having recorded what I think, is uh, only somewhat of a dumb video. Prepare for the upcoming uh, October, December update with the strengthening of the ability of superheroes and supervillains. Update pre-event, whatever. Okay, so we've got the Alliance donation, double donation, which is really nice. Is it on? Is it live now or is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow. It's not today. Okay, so that one is good. You donate gold, uh, and you or you do yeah, you donate a million gold, and you get a bunch of stuff here. Uh, pre-update event quest tokens. Okay, ninety tokens. Cool. Uh, it's running until the 21st, so it seems like there's going to be an update on the 21st. So we are one week away from presumably the December update, which historically has only been an update for winter uniforms. It has not been a time for a, a full legit update. However, this may be the first year that we go against that trend because, well, because of what you're going to read at the end here. So yeah, I really don't have too much to say. I'm shocked personally, but it's okay. I believe that you can also time the update with the end of the crafting event. The crafting event has nine days on it. So it's, it's a little bit before. It's two days before the crafting event ends. Okay. Then we have an ISO uh, bonus changing event and discount event. Uh, you want to... No, it's just a change discount event. It's not... A, okay, anyways. Uh, you want to prepare your spider characters. If you haven't rolled an ISO set for Spider-Man or Dr. Octopus or Green Goblin, now's the time to do so. Although you're sort of guessing as to which sets are going to be useful, you can always, you almost never go wrong with an offensive set like Power of Angry Hulk or Overdrive or Hawk's Eye. Uh, Uru Combine Event, cool. Uru Unequip Event, Odin's Blessing Unequip Event, Odin's Blessing Chance Up, cool, cool, cool. Relay Battle World. I'm sort of stalling here because I don't want to get to the end where it shows how possibly painfully wrong I am. So let's take a look at what the devs decided to leave at the bottom of this post. Soon, and this has been copied and pasted and screenshotted and cropped and sent to me so many times today. So please continue that trend. Soon, a friendly neighbor, not State Farm, uh, will come visit our agents, giggity. Please look forward to the next update. What are you, what are you doing? Okay? Listen, this serves as three, this, this is a triple threat post here. One, it indicates that the next update is Spider-Man because he's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, this video is DMCA. Okay, so there's that, which is great for people who love it when I'm wrong because now you get to laugh, point at me and laugh and I have to take it. So that's great. Two, it's this is this is a horrible loss. This is a fat, massive L for people who thought that I worked for Marvel Future Fight. People who are like, he's a net marble agent. I've been literally telling you that I'm 99% sure we're not getting a Spider-Man update. Because I'm serious. I thought there's no way. There's no way they're going to cram a whole update into December. December is when they give their employees time off. I mean, I hope that this is a... Listen, if it is a Spider-Man update, I hope it's a full update, right? I'm not hoping for a half seas or a half-assed update for Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong. At the same time, I'm not saying that I hope the net marble employees, who are not my coworkers, mind you, um, are not getting an adequate winter break because they deserve a winter break. They work really hard, uh, you know, 11 and a half months out of the year. They deserve at least two weeks vacation, kind of thing, right? So I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on here. Did they take their vacation early? Are they taking it anyways? And we have we have teams rotating. I don't know what's going on. But anywho. If we are getting a full update in December, I'm here for it. It's cool. It's hype. Maybe we're going to start getting 11 updates per year in Marvel Future Fight. We technically already get more than 10 because we have the mid-month updates. So we technically get 20 or 21. I don't know if this is going to make 22. I have not been doing the math. If someone in the comments down below wants to leave um, a message saying, like, calculating, maybe Gravity Punch or something can calculate all of the updates we've had this year as long as they were updates that that pushed something, whether it was like characters or uniforms or a tier three, right? Like we've had some pretty small updates. Like last year, we just had Scarlet Witch tier three. It was the only, and, and a uniform 
was the only part of the April mid-month update. That was like the smallest stuff that we've ever gotten. One one uniform and one advancement. But I'm curious, how many how many updates have we actually gotten this year? Because it seems like it's on the uptrend, which is good for the longevity of the game. And it's obviously amazing for the tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of rabid Spider-Man fans. Like, you guys don't even know. I literally just put Spider-Man in the thumbnail and you bet your bottoms I'm putting him in this thumbnail. There's no way I'm not going to... It's like free clicks, bro. It's free exposure. I'm literally clickbaiting myself into clickbaiting you guys. It's bananas how thirsty Spidey fans are for literally a crumb of Spidey content. And I'm, I'm with you there. I'm 100% with you there. But yeah, I did not see this coming. So this is a curveball. MFF keeps us guessing, keeps me guessing. I honestly don't have too much more to say about that. It's hilarious. I don't care if I'm wrong personally because it's a win-win, right? Either we were going to get a full update in January for Spider-Man and we could have all the spoilers in the world or we're going to get an update next week for Spider-Man that could still have spoilers. It probably won't have spoilers, but it could have a spoiler or two because the movie premiered last night in Hollywood. So that's about a week later. Probably not though, like to be honest, Marvel is pretty tight this year with spoilers. If you look at the Eternals update, it's the perfect example, right? most of the stuff that we almost all the stuff we got for the characters here is uh spoiler free and uh part of the update released well after the movie was out so you know I, i'm i'm guessing that we're just going to see a new era of marvel that is more concerned with spoilers because of how much content they're putting out there and you can also see how aggressive they are towards spoilers because of how the disney plus stuff has been handled right we have a massive like two month delay uh, not delay two month sort of breathing period between when the show ends and when we get updates in marvel future fight so yeah i don't expect to see many spoilers if we are getting a december spider-man update but i will spoil you now <laughs> with some classic spidey content what can our webhead do i honestly have not played with this guy in ages so i have absolutely no idea but we're gonna go ahead and give him the best possible team and take him through some we're going to take him down memory lane here. 22% Pierce, by the way. You guys love to remind me, so I'm going to remind you. When you're looking at how OP his damage is, just remember in your heads uh, what I said. Remember my words, okay? With great power comes great responsibility. Look at this Pogger's damage. Look at this. This is, this is damage that you just cannot get anywhere else ladies and gentlemen now listen before you get on my case about this not being the right uniform for spider-man for pve content give it a rest all right give it a rest spidey's not good all right we've we've sort of you know two years ago when this uniform came out there were there, there were people in the, in the comments fighting me and and really trying to tell me that spidey uh was underrated and stage 99 and blah 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 I mean, he's cool, man. He's cool. He just needs a huge bump, man. I don't know. Whether it's PvE or PvP, I'm not really sure. Um, part of me would like to see Spidey in PvP just because I kind of miss the days of Spidey versus, versus Wolverine. And it would also be hilarious to see Spidey versus... Is he going to die? Spidey versus, like, Gilgamesh. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Doesn't have a heal, doesn't have a heal. 2019 character, doesn't have a heal. All right. <laughs> Uh, I would like to see Spidey versus Gilgamesh. I would also love to see Spidey, uh, like, one-tap Cersei. I think that'd be super satisfying. But at the same time, I like his webbing a Oh, shoot. Uh, he's gonna die. Oof. Uh, on, on the flip side, I really like his webbing and stuff like that. And I would love to see him in PvE content. I honestly think his Tier 3 is actually really cool looking. I know he's got different Tier 3s with the different uniforms. And the, and the Night Monkey uniform is also pretty cool as far as the Tier 3 goes. But I like his Tier 3, and I think it's obviously very unique and it obviously feels very much like spider-man you know it's called way of the spider and he like zips around it's really cool so i would love if this uh, tier three actually did damage that'd be like super poggers um he can't even do the 100 second challenge well with my build but there you go that's spider-man that was the uh minute 45 drag test <laughs> drag test for those of you wondering I'm not going to show you my Spider-Man build until later. Let's go into stage 9 null, and let's see if we can uh, cry ourselves to sleep here. We're going to give Spider-Man the team of a lifetime. We're not We're not going to do Spidey DPS check. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do, like, super god team here. 
We're going to give him White Fox, of course. That's another good thing about Spider-Man, by the way. Like, I don't talk about it too much when I haven't talked about it lately, but he has the leadership tag. So this should bode very well for him moving forward. Uh, and then whenever Scarlet Spider gets a tier three or a transcendence, you're going to be making money, dog. You are going to be making money. Now, I was going to make a boo-boo here and use Sif lead. That doesn't work. So I honestly think that Valkyrie is the best option here. Yeah, Crescent gives 60% physical attack and 65% physical attack, but I honestly think the Ignore Dodge plus the other buffs are actually worth more than that. So I actually think this... Wow, she has a better leadership than he does. I actually think this ends up being the best team for him. Yeah, I think the combination of 30% Ignore Dodge and the increased damage to villains is worth more than any kind of leadership. But even with this absolutely stacked team, I really don't expect Spidey's raw damage to be that high. But yeah, spoiler alert, this is my build for Spidey uh, without any kind of uh, obelisk or CTP. So this is his raw 2019 damage. Oh boy, Spidey, that tier three is just... Man, for how cool it is, it should be do so much more damage. His four cancel five does twice as much damage as his uh, as his tier three. That's tra Wow, he can't even dodge the cage. It's brutal, dog. I cannot wait, though. I cannot wait. So you don't even want to cancel five or four into uh, into six, because look, and he got knocked back. Okay, true. Ah, uh, true. It's been eighty-four years. Yeah, spin a win, baby, spin a win. Ouch. No heal, no guard break immunity, no super armor. Oh boy. Oh boy. The one thing he does have, and I remember this, is that um, he has snare immunity. So, I think he has stun immunity. No, he ha yeah, he has snare and stun immunity, I believe. So, he can solo Mephisto's last phase really easily. Yo, we didn't dodge the cage again? <sighs> All right, bro. Can we even get him out of this chair before he um, he one-shots you? Maybe we'll see the, the return of the one-shot. But yeah, because Mephisto's last stage has uh, the, all those stun slams... Characters that have stun immunity like War Machine, Call Obsidian, and um, Spidey are actually really good for that phase. And then, of course, Spidey's better than them. Well, hypothetically better because he has... There's, there's the stun immunity there. Because he has um, the speed advantage. The, the speed type advantage versus blast types. Man, that damage. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to... I'm not, yeah, I'm not even going to let that play out. We're so close to him just auto-killing us here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Spidey. Spidey didn't get auto-killed. Yeah. What's up, dog? What's up? What's up, no? What's up, no? You thought you, you thought you had my boy Spidey? You thought you had Petey in a pickle? Huh? You thought you had Petey's pickle? Hey, yo. Well, you, surprise, you didn't, bro. He just... <laughs> bro, the damage is so bad. <laughs> I understand that he doesn't have an obelisk, but he has double support. I have 22% pierce. And he's doing his, he's doing his tier 3. I'm pausing in between the tier 3 animation. And he has the CTP of insight up. I'm seeing damage in the in the in the 10 in the low tens of thousands. That is so painfully bad. Uh, to, to give you guys perspective on that, Makari goes close to a million on the damage meter when she pops her rotation. So she's literally doing like 100 times more damage. <laughs> She's doing like 50 to 100 times. Not not 10, right? Because he's doing 15,000 damage and she's doing a million. So it's close to 100 times. It's like 80, 80, 85 times, 90 times more damage. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, sure. She's got a rage and he doesn't. But yeah, I listen, guys, the rage is not going to make up for the 80, 80 um, times damage. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be making a video in a week with an epic Spidey re-review with some insane, insane news to report. I'm I'm pulling for Spidey. I've never been this properly hyped for Spider-Man before than I am now. Because honestly, last time he got uh, his uniforms, not only were we new to the whole synergy thing and we were kind of apathetic about it, but Doctor Strange was getting his tier three. So I sort of poured all my love and attention into that when he got his tier three, because his tier three is just so iconic, right? Where he does all the hands, like, look at this, bros. You can't tell me, you can't tell me Spider-Man competes with this, right? Come on now. He comes through end game style and then he's just like, yo, let's do it. Oh, never mind. This is the one where he opens. Oh, never mind. That's his, his tier three advancement animation. It's terrible. No, 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 no. I was thinking of I was thinking of his tier three skill, 
when you turn the SFX on for his tier three skill. I do want to see the Eye of Agamotto open up. But anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's still pretty sick. Still pre but I'm talking about the tier three skill where, he, where you see all the duplicates and stuff. And he goes like this and he has like all those arms. So anywho, I'm properly hyped for Spidey this time around. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I did not use the... What did I get here today? Oh, awesome. I did not use the six star selector. As you guys can see right there, the six star artifact selector still has 48 days. So even if the Spidey update is not now, which it seems like it is, but even if it's not now, even if it's January, there's a possibility that I'll be able to pull up and immediately grab myself a six star Spidey artifact. If it's good. And if it's good enough, if Spidey's artifact is good enough, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Show the love and support for Spider-Man. Like the video. If you like the video, Spider-Man's movie and update in Marvel Future Fight will come out one second sooner. That's how time works. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.